What, what it do, baby? baby? CJ the champ. Beyond scared and straight. Gentlemen, Joe, it is Joe. finally time to return to jail. I beg to your jail. pardon? <laughs> Goddamn prison. Because Jolene has been locked up. Oh. So, yeah, today we're going to be taking a tour of the Green Dolphin Street Prison. Oh, my God. All right, so let me get you caught up real quick. Jolene is the daughter of Joe Turo. Okay, about none of that. Oh, this prison is out of pocket. This makes Alcatraz look like a. But I got a question. Is, is this show worth it? I know it's not a daycare, right. but ladies and gentlemen, yeah, my please sit back and relax as we dive into the aquarium. I'm telling you, Fifi gonna see this and she gonna start talking shit. As we will observe, it is what it is, Fifi. Whoa, fatherless behavior, <laughs> fatherless behavior. <laughs> and a priest beating <laughs> in the name of the Holy Spirit. What the special programming goes? We all scared straight. In that case, it might be worth it. Hold on, just this arc. <laughs> Okay, right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're probably all wondering, all right, so uh how did our boy Jotaro's daughter end up getting locked up? Well, obviously, we have to start from the beginning. Yeah. So we start off in these holding cells, and they talk right, about right. Master What? what? I yeah. beg your pardon. Yeah. Something about the moonlight <laughs> going in through the shape of the window box. <laughs> <laughs> this can't all, be happening oh, this, right now. Yep. This is the first scene of the season, and they already well, talking it is about Jojo. it. Is Jojo. Meet in me. this unsanitary ass cell? Yeah, and then old not. girl talking on the left, like, "Oh, y'all some nasty ass hoes, ain't you?" And then Jolie start talking, and she like, "Uh, uh, uh, don't be talking, boo boo. I could tell just by your finger. You in here for?" Oh. And some people really wonder why this show was called JoJo's Bizarre, Bizarre Adventure. Adventure. Oh, man. So then old girl like, oh, so you really like that. So uh, how did you end up in here? Joe and Cujo, oh, 19 Lord. years old. I'm in here for stealing and hit and run. Oh, she Ms. Cujo, uh, can you please explain to me your situation right now? First of all, man, I'm innocent, so let's get that straight. Well, I'm sorry, man, but if I'm reading this correctly, it says back when you were 14, you had right. two burglary charges? Two? Times are rough. That's what happens when your dad leave you at 14. Okay, okay, well, can you just please explain the situation? Well, you see, what had happened was me and my nigga Romeo was riding down the street. Now, I thought he was real cute, even though his barber f***ed. This shit up right before he yeah, picked me up. Yeah, she 14 with a grown man. No, 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 no. This is this is like current. This is current. It's like at this point, it's like a year ago. Oh. I don't know what he was going for, but Miss Cujo, please get back to the situation. Uh, my bad, Chief. So, uh, long story short, we ended up hitting a nigga. <laughs> so I'm trying to call 911, and but they got said, there. Jolene, don't do it. Homie already dead. So let's get his body and shove his ass in the trunk. So no, obviously I'm freaking say. out and everything, but then he said, Jolene, listen, Don't I'm you love Romeo, me? and you my Juliet. So <laughs> stop acting weird and shit, and let's shove the mother in the trunk. So we shoved him in the trunk, they, and that's wow. why I'm here. Wow, okay, okay, so what you're telling me is Romeo hit the victim, right? I ain't telling you, nigga, I ain't no fed. You just <sighs> told. No funeral, then. You just told. Well, wait, there's so more. Mother's still talking. He ends up giving her this tray, and on this tray is a pendant, and he says it's from her dad. So obviously, she like, my dad, that bum ass, I don't want this shit. But then the pendant ends up plucking her. And well, we all what know what happens on? in JoJo yeah, jo when yep, something yep. weird hits you. Like, let's say a mask or an arrow. Yep. So after this, she ends up getting transported what, what over to the what, what happens with something uh, weird? See, see, you should be cultured. What happens you with trash. something weird hits you? You trash, she turns you get mess. powers. Oh. And then she meets old girl again. Y'all know what the f going on, it's your girl, Hermes. This is my second time in here, <laughs> and for this offense, I'm in here for robbing the 7-Eleven across the street. So then she starts telling Jolene, girl, I hope you got some money on you. If you ain't got no Benjamins Why on you, you gonna turn money? into a pack. And bruh, she got it stitched in there. She said, I got five twenties oh. in one and 50 in the other. Whoa. So they tell Jolene to get off. So when she gets off, she- So she plan on ripping the stitches just to get the- Yeah, yeah, cause you gotta have the money. Cause you don't got no money in there, you ain't making it. That's how it is on the yard, Michael. You know what I'm saying? Well, what else you gave up when you didn't have money? I ain't give up nothing, Michael. You took it. <laughs> you scared? Yeah. Who said you was gonna hit play? I didn't say you was gonna hit play. We hit play. Hey, hey man. We hit play. Give me that pocket. <laughs> you hear the people in the bus, and the officers are trying to rob Hermes. So she take out the twenty in her head, but they like, hey, shawty, that ain't gonna be enough. So we are gonna have to take off them stitches. But then this oh. threat ends up coming from Jolene's hand. The red ended up slicing off homie's ear. Oh, oh my god. So oh then after goodness. this, she ends up having her trial. 
And this is where it started to get wild. Yeah. So the judge says, I see that you took this plea deal, but the thing is, the body that you disposed of Homeboy was still alive. Oh, wow. oh, so therefore, shoot. you are an accessory to murder. murder. So that'll be yeah. 15 years. Huh? Get out there. Uh, Get out there. Wait, he was still alive, so she's an accessory to what? Nah, they instead of get, give, hitting her with a hit and run, they hit her with a murder charge. But he was still alive. Because he died in the trunk. Oh! When they hit him, snap. he was still alive. Oh! Look at the lawyer, bro. Just let it happen. She like, wait a minute. This makes no sense. I struck a deal. And look at this Middle Earth he elf. Did it he looked evil. Look man, look it didn't happen. He, did it so he walks back, and this whole time, homeboy was getting freaky with Romeo. Oh! So Jolene got oh. packed up. I don't know about the freaky boy, CJ. I don't know about that. But yeah, Ain't they no was way. paying Cuz. Like, no Cuz family was paying him. The the. But Man. I don't even know what that nigga was though. I don't think he was human. I stopped like halfway through this season because it just it just didn't fulfill you. That's why I ain't watching this shit, so. bro. Nah, it's just Even you recommended trash shows, bro. Nah, JoJo, it's, it's not trash, bro. It just take. Why you like, stop? It take a lot to get into because huh? it's trash. That's crazy. And she was <laughs> Look, you know what I thought we should think we should do? And if y'all want us to do a comment down below, what? we should react to the worst rated anime ever. I bet. I'm down with it. And that. we'll do first episode. And if they like it, we'll do it again. Bet. But yeah. first, y'all got to comment. And yeah. Then, yeah you know Reason. And comment which anime? No, we're going to find it. We're going to go on a list okay. and so find the worst going rated. intake. She ends up seeing the lawyer again. And look at her, she's like, ooh, I swear to God, I'm shoot the shit out of your ass. So while he's driving away, one of her threads come through his AC, and she ended up choking the up. That's crazy. Nah, bro, she really liked that. So then after this, we end up meeting the warden. Loco Barocco, I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison, and this is my assistant, Charlotte. All right, everybody, that's a rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or concerns? Um, yes, what about? Should I say to you to speak? Uh, um, oh. no, sir. That's what I thought. That's that short man's complex. It's that your stuff. So then so we end up meeting people. her cellmate, Gwes. So Jolene tries to put her stuff on the bottom bunk, nope. but she throws nope. the whole barbell at her. And look Whoa. at the bottom bunk is mine, you nasty you could take the top. But she ends up having the pendant. And there's this bird, and there is a literal person in there. So then she hey, over here sitting on this bench yelling at this bird, and she ends up choking the life out of the bird. Yo, somebody called PETA. But Jolene ends up grabbing the bird. Wait, whose bird is it? It's out of c It was the cellmate's bird or Jolene? Yes. Okay. I was confused because she started choking that <laughs> She started choking the whole bird. Bro, you, a, <laughs> he just said it. I thought it was her bird, but then when she started choking it, I was like, wait a minute. He literally just said it was her bird. Then she decided to start choking hey, it out. A mission. So then Gwes comes over and grabs her like a titan. And she forces her to put on this rat suit so she can help her escape prison. So she makes Jolene run through this gate, but her body starts to grow Aww. again. So while she's running back to the gate, this ugly stand. Oh my God. What is that? Oh, like a gremlin. So she ends up getting stuck in this bar. So Google Goo Dolls tries to jump up and kill her, but she ends up smacking hey. that. N she's like, oh my God. Oh my. Is this, is this my stand? So she ends up rocking her sh and look at her. Oh, you really thought you was about to pull a fast one on it, huh? Well, I'm about to beat you like my daddy, bitch. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. Whoa. She is beating the Whoa. life out of her. Whoa. So yeah, bro, she was done. And she took the bottom bunk for my <laughs> yeah. her sorry. Let's take the top bunk. So then the next day, Jolene over by the phones, and this girl come over and ask her for some money, and she's saying she'll pay it back. So she give us some spare change. But right, then Wes right. come back over and she like, Jolene, girl, what the hell are you doing giving your money out like that? That's how you become a bitch. You best go get your money back or you're going to be looking like her. Oh. Um, bitch. So Jolene goes and tracks her down and asks her for the money back. But then the girl says, didn't I say I'll pay you back? What's wrong with you, nigga? Does your brain uh -oh. not work or something? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Bro, everything, uh -oh. everything, everything in JoJo's, like, because this is about where I stopped. Everything in JoJo's is just so fucking weird. It's like, ain't shit coherent. Shit all over the place. Fuck, man. It is, it is. And then they kill everybody you like. 
That's the Obviously, you can't process shit. So Jolene walked back and she like, all right then. So she ends up putting some laxatives in her coffee. Oh, so she run up to the her. bathroom because she got a doo-doo, but Jolene's sitting in the she bathroom. In so she like, smart. okay, I'm sorry. That's I'll smart. give your money back. You know what? I'll even double it. So she come out and smack the She like, sold. Now give me that $10. Appreciate doing business with you. So then as she walking over to the door, she sees so she gave her $5 in coins? and then she sees this little boy. So then the kids start talking and saying, you will have a visitor, but do not meet the visitor. So then after this, the kid disappears and this guard comes over and smacks her in the head. Bro said, what you doing looking at a ghost bitch? Oh, I'll show you Casper. <laughs> Why are they so violent? So the I ain't gonna day, lie. This show made me not want to go to prison even more. Yeah. Than me. But I don't want to go back. And he started antagonizing her. He like, oh, sorry for yesterday. I mean, I didn't mean just to hit evil. you that damn hard, but uh, you was touching the bars and I had to follow the rules. But <laughs> oh, and by the way, you got a visitor. So she goes to see the visitor and it's none other than Joe Taroku, Joe. He I am him. him. Don't yeah. play with me. Yeah. I'm a dead op deal. Yeah. I'm Jonathan Joe Star's yeah. heavenly grave. Yeah. I am him. Yeah. So Jolene looking at him and she like, ah. Oh, Hell nah. So she socks the security guard. And she like, oh, so it looks like you finally came back from that grocery trip. Did you ever get the milk? Because damn, it took you long enough. But Jotaro's just looking at her like, little girl, shut the f up and sit down. Listen, you were framed. My homeboy right here. You want to know why you were framed? Because you are Joe Star. Our family been having ops since the 1800s. So Joe so goes she is a Joe the door, okay, but her handcuffs her off. And she ended up getting shot. Oh! But luckily, she ended up stopping oh. it. So John Gallier's stand moly. Manhattan transfer is like literal wall hacks with a ricochet effect. Look at homeboy posted up in it. I was like, cuz. Wait a bit. Wait I was like, a hold. bit. That one just kind of jumped, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, bro. I <laughs> oh, my bad, dog. <laughs> Well, luckily, she ended up stopping it. So, John Gallier's stand Manhattan transfer is like literal wall hex with a ricochet effect. Look at homeboy posted up in his cell sniping. That's definitely old dude who she just, who John Toro said set her up with. Yeah. It, it, that was a felt, okay. So, the security guard gets up and he ends up doming the security Whoa. guard. Oh my God, first face yeah, Gabby and now crazy. face John Gallier. God damn. Like, God, who's blind. next face Usopp? So later Dang, on, they end mean? up figuring out that this is a whole illusion. And what is Wait, huh? Is, is somebody bust a lot? Nope, nope, nope. Nah, bro. I, I got a dirty mind. Nope, we ain't doing this. Nah. Shit. So then they escape the room, but then a guard approaches. And then another guard approaches. And the first one pops a cap in his ass. And minute. they're like, wait a damn minute. Ain't no way. It's that Gaffey's Gallier. <laughs> homie came in with the close combat because he was missing his shots. So homie starts blasting. So Jotaro has to use Star Platinum. But then this Stan ends up coming behind him. Bro says, hmm, looks like you've fallen into my trap. Witness the power of way to snake. So bro, pimp ah. slaps him. And these discs come out of my boy's head. Bro basically That's stole my insane. dude's rooms. And now he getting shot. This oh is, my bro. god. So then Jolene this puts him in the handle. spin cycle and starts beating his ass. And look at Jotaro. He's like, hmm, looks like my daughter's beating some ass. Looks like I've done a great job as a father. Trash. Now I'm about to pass help. So he the trash father? That's crazy. But the crazy part is they Joe Taro went from being the hardest person in the series to just <laughs> dead. <laughs> More door. <laughs> so Jolene takes him outside, but it looks like our boy is down for the count. But there is still hope. So she starts talking to the kid again, and he basically says, "Yo, dad got his soul snatched." So we learn the kid's name is Emporio, and bro what? grew up in the prison. He was born here. He was what? raised here. Oh what my the heck? god! This nigga's Bane. I was yeah, born in it. Raised yeah, by it. So we go back to face John Gallier after he got his ass beat. So White Snake pull up, and he's like, "Hmm, looks like you got your ass beat. <laughs> so therefore, you're kicked from phase." Oh, so after what? this, Jolene ended I up. I thought that was his stand. Nah, that wasn't his. His stand was the small one, that small little glob. Then who the hell was that? It was somebody else. Damn, keep up. Getting another. Uh, they didn't say nothing about who the hell that was. I thought that was his stand. No, My film. no, because it already showed. God, you have me. You're an idiot. You are stupid. Five years added on to her sentence because of that escape, and she got stuck in the punishment war for like. <laughs> Weeks. So a few weeks end up passing. Weeks ain't so nothing to the boss. They got everybody outside to so the warden like, all right, everybody listen to f 
Really? We had two inmates go missing the other day, so uh, somebody need to go find their asses. So Jolene volunteers, and Ermes as well, because she's like, hmm, have to tell her about my side quest. So they have to put these bombs on their wrists like they're the suicide squad or something. So the ah. guard says, if you get 50 meters away from me, yo ass goes boom, boom. So yeah. he's up getting on a four-wheeler, oh, and he oh, takes off, dirty. so they like, wait a damn minute. That's dirty. Hold on, homeboy, you're going a little too fast. That's so dirty. Ermes ends up catching up to Jolene. So she's like, hmm, what's up, girl? I got to tell you about my side quest. So you see, what had happened was... I got this new stand called Kiss. It's like some stickers, like some arts and crafts and shit. So I ended up beating him with a broom, and then I fought the same janitor. His name was McQueen, and he was trying to off himself. And every time he did that, the same thing happened to me. I even offered him my panties, but I guess he didn't want no coochie. I also oh. met the little nigga with the baseball cap, so uh, that's why I'm talking to you right now. So later on, while they what walking, the? the guard comes in and tries to antagonize him. So bro starts messing with him and tries to make him fall in crocodile doo-doo. Like, bro, what is wrong with these guards? And also, there are now six prisoners. Let me get that. Hold up. But you wait, know I there's more. I kill his ass, cut off his arms, and walk away. It's a wrap. I'm surprised they ain't trying. I'm going to be honest. That's with something you. Baki would do. I'm be, I'm, Make it. I'm going to be honest with you, Mike. You can't even keep up what's going on in the show. You couldn't have did nothing. You would have got blown if to I was them. out there, and they started off with five. So somebody is an imposter. Well, the show is so stupid. Not. I'm going to say it now. It's dumb. It's not. It's retarded. It's not. I mean, you just. It's trash. You just like it's it. It's trash. You're just like it. Hey, that's bad. You're just like that's it. That's bad. We got the same rating. This is not OK. Bombs start beeping, and they look over at the <laughs> officer, and that gone. And then a girl in the back like, wait a minute. Why is mine beeping faster? Hello. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, my God. That's got to be one of the most tragic deaths I've ever seen. You really got oh. to a wrist bone. So they pull up on them and they like, all right, all three of y'all nasty motherfuckers, freeze. One of y'all is a stand user, so who is it? Fess up. So Jolene ends up I smacking know. this one girl. So Army's like, girl, why you hit her like that? And Jolene said, hmm, shit, I don't know. I'm just going to drop all their asses. But then this one girl grabs her and all three of them start talking. And then... What in the Invader Whoa. Zim is hey, that? Da, 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 the stand da. starts talking like, My name is Foo Fighters. Put some respect on my name, nigga. How dare you disrespect my set and run up on my lake? So homeboy start moving like an exoskeleton. Ugh. So then Jolene starts chasing after him. And then he's like, oh, I see you trying to get these discs. Well, uh, too bad, you nasty bitch. But then she started making the tractor move and the disc are taking off with it. So homeboy hit the jets. He's like, my precious disc. How did you hit a lick on me? But the dirt ended up slowing him down and homeboy was done for. So then Hermes was about to throw some dirt on him. But then Jolie stops. She's like, ah, 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 stop. We're going to keep him. So Hermes is like, you want to keep this ugly ass, peanut head ass, green bean looking ass girl alive? We should feed this water type Pokemon ass to the crops. But Jolene said, no. I hereby announce this severed head of a water type Pokemon, a Jobro. So they what? end up finding Star Platinum's disc. But then the girl that got blown up earlier then pulled back up. And she like, hold on, it's your trusty homegirl Foo Fighters. I just went ahead and just took over the dead girl body. With this old pineapple head ass haircut, she got oh. a leaf on her head. So they end up getting picked up by all the cops. So later on that evening, we see White Snake in the shed. And then we see the user. Father Poochie, I spin the block in the name of the Lord. I am that good. Father, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna, just shut up. You just you just shut up and you just sit in the ride. This is for everybody else. Got you shut up. I got one. And, question. No, nigga. I got one question. What's your question? If it's stupid, I get the job. She got blue the fuck up. <laughs> she got blue. <laughs> the smithereens. We saw the pieces. <laughs> and then then use this flowers to pull them back together. I ain't even got to see the show to know that happened. But nah, I ain't even got to see the episode. Nah, JoJo's though had the greatest villains. Them niggas didn't give a fuck. Father Poochie? I don't know Father Poochie. The greatest Catholic priest of all But the nigga before him, that nigga... That nigga I can only imagine the evil season. A, oh, you horrible. There was a nigga before him who literally he was a mafia leader. Right. That nigga, that nigga was trying to kill niggas in his mafia to kill his daughter. That's crazy. That nigga was That's devious. Insane. I was wondering if I could get parole. <laughs> parole? You must be out of your damn mind. But father, I, 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 don't speak until I tell you to speak, bitch. Yes, father. Now then, sister, have you paid your tithes and offerings this month? Um, <laughs> no, father. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. She gotta go. Nah, boo -boo, that ain't gonna she do gotta it. go. Have you taking your communion this month? 
No. No, Father. He about to say. Sweet Lord, Heavenly Jesus, we got a sinner. But Father, I promise you. Shut up. Told you. Told you. My, my, my. From the streets did she emerge, and to the streets she shall return. And I say unto you, she is for the streets. So be not worried when she must return from when she came. Nigalatians chapter 1, verse 1 through 3. Perfect. Drill that into your head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So whoa, later on, whoa. while they outside playing catch, this one girl starts sipping on FF water. So she like, hey, go get your nasty ass, busted ass 360 ways away from my goddamn water. Come on, so crispy though. On playing catch. And the girl that Poochie beat up pull up and she like, I bet y'all $100 y'all won't last. So Jolie hey. like, hold on, I ain't hey. got that type of money. Hey. She said, it don't matter. I'll take anything hey. of value. So hey. Jolie's like, no, but then Armies comes up and she's like, yo, Jolene, we cannot pass this up. You see how many racks she got in her sock? We playing the game. So they start playing the game, but then Foo Fighters gets distracted. She's like, hey, f away from my cup. So she almost dropped the damn ball, but they end up making it to 100. So then she like, I right, then I throw it 100 more times and I'll give you a whole band. Take it or leave it. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You telling me she got a whole band in prison? She rich? No way, bro. What type of operation she is she running up in here? So they playing for a thousand dollars now, but it's starting to get late. Bets. But then the guard come behind her. He's like, "Hey, nigga, time is up. So put the damn ball down." So she like, "Okay, here, here, here. I'll pay you for more time." So he like, "All right, then. I'll be taking the glove though." So she has about oh. dropping the ball, but she picks it up with her stand ability. But apparently that was against the rules. So then, oh girl, Stan comes out. Stan was like, "Pay your debt." So it rips out the money that was stuck oh in her God. side boom. Then she like, hmm, that ain't enough. So I'll be taking oh. it with her. Oh, my God. That's why she got all that money. That's why she got all that money. That's crazy. looking at that. So Jolene and Foo Fighters start playing again so they can get her liver back. So they keep on running. Get so they stuck back. on the elevator. So then she throw the ball up, but the security guard ends up catching the ball. Come on, cuz. Say, I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. And look at the ugly ass. She's like, <laughs> game over, nigga. Now pay your debt, bitch. But then she ends up smacking her with the ball. She like, you really didn't think I would have a backup plan, did you? You should know my pickpocketing skill is maxed out. Max. <laughs> Stupid. Prestige. Ass. Now I'm about to beat you like my great grand Prestige. uncle. Give me that. <laughs> she made it rain up in that hole. So then the next day she go over to use the phone. So the big old lunch lady like, hey, bitch, what the f Hold on, hold on, take a seat, boo boo. <laughs> Get real comfortable. Bitch, give me that. Take a coat too, sister. <laughs> Stay blessed. So then she ends up calling the Speedwagon Foundation. So they like, all right, listen, we still got your dad body up in here. So if you want to give us that disc, meet us in the courtyard. So then she ended up walking up to this double chin looking guard. She got the Kodak going on and everything. So she started yelling. But then she saw that money. She said, you could pass. So then she sees Emporio again. He says, bring your ass over here. So then There's she ends so up getting sent to this ghost room. She's like, hold on, what is going on? Why is homie in a piano right now? Weather report, I'm a certified, certified meteorologist. Fruit cake. And also this piano is comfortable as hell. So Lies. she's like, wait a minute, Emporio, so you're a stand user? Hell yeah, nigga, I'm Casper. Look, I could pull a whole belt out of my ass. I'm literally a video game character <laughs> inventory. So they're going to try to get to the courtyard, so weather report is going to come along and help. And my God, homie getting real close. To, hey, what's good with you? Hey, so I don't want that. The courtyard, and what is what? that? Oh, what? nah, bro, Man. look at him. Uh, look at his shoes. It's the reject Spider-Man concept art. So while old Doodle -Doo Man's on the ground, uh, Jolene's- Boy, got a Dookie Blaster! <laughs> a Dookie Blaster by a thousand. Dookie Blaster, you seen the Dookie Blaster with the beam? Oh, no, I seen the regular. I seen the Glock Dookie, the regular. Nah, I seen the Glock Dookie with a beam. That's crazy. They taped the laser to that mother. That's crazy with a beam. Starts to float. So she's like, ah, his standability is zero gravity. So they end up following old Doodle Man to this room, and he started to suck all the oxygen out of the room. Bro made the room a vacuum. So then Weather Report ends up making some cloud suits. And then they end up beating Doodle Man's ass. Yeah. Thank God, bro, get him off of my yeah. screen. Like, they yo, this been man, Lane Wrangler, it. gives me absolute nightmares. Like, when I think of the Boogeyman, I think of this nigga. So then the door the shoe's starts not to even open, on. and Poochie is at the door. Bro, looking at Jolene like, my, my, if it isn't the fatherless child of Jotaro Kujo, should I beat her ass right now or let her pass? 
So she's like, please, father, let me pass. So he just looked at her and said, all right, then. I don't need to give up my identity yet. So she finally makes it to the courtyard. So she sees the dude. So she's thinking, oh, my gosh, that's him. That's the contact. So she walks up to him. And this man pulls out the blicky. Whoa. Poochie's like, ha, stupid bitch. You really thought you was going to get out of here with that disc? So we get a flashback to 1988. And this man, Poochie, is chilling with, with the biggest with hater Dio. in anime history. With Dio. This man, Dio, the ultimate wow. hating ass nigga. Where it's like, I wake up, breathe, and hate. You know who I really hate, though? Them goddamn Joe Joe's stars. Power, yep. So Joe's Poochie ended up learning the ways of Dio to become an ultimate hating ass. So he could ascend to ultimate hating hood in heaven. So Weather Report is over here beat up, and he's like, huh, I guess I have to use my final attack. So it starts raining <laughs> breaking news out in florida it is Whoa, literally raining, raining frogs. frogs out there i mean it is florida <laughs> are we surprised that Not this all. happens no we aren't Fact. so yeah Not this man all. weather report literally started making it been rain poisonous frogs so this man poochie's like god damn i got all this shit on my 800 dollar pants so he starts counting prime numbers to calm himself down. So Poochie sees his guard. He's like, hey, cut, open the door. But he starts running away. So he's like, you pussy. So he kicks the frog at dude and makes him go blind. Oh, yeah. that's so he got up. the dude to open the door and he just left. So he walks outside to go get the disc from Jolene, but she was shielding herself the whole time. So she got the disc off to the bird that was the actual contact. So this mm. man, Poochie, was pissed. He goes over me. to her and starts going crazy. Bruh said, oh, you think you did something? <laughs> you ain't do jack shit. <laughs> That's why your daddy did. And you will always be a fatherless <laughs> ass child. So White Snake left. Jolene went to the ICU, and it was just another day at the Green Dolphin Street Prison. God dog. Shout out to CJ. He he he's doing it. He DJ Khaled, the uh, anime cipher. Hey man, click the next video. And while you there, subscribe. You doofus, Smurfs.